Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Star Age and Starco Gaming is back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Guys, there's a new server patch that got released about 45 minutes before I recorded this video. Guys, Alliance Battle Extreme score is getting uh, the, the cap score is getting upgraded to 3.5 million. We're gonna go into the server patch note here in a second, but before that, guys. Quick reminder, always check the description below the video for the link to our current giveaway, guys. We always have giveaway there, so make sure to check that. And guys, make sure to support the channel by subscribing to the channel and by liking this content so we can actually bring more special content like giveaways to you guys. So guys, server patch note here. Grading agents, this is a CM fragment of Marvel Future Fight. A small patch was released on, um, well, pretty much March 14, 6 p.m. PDT for us English people mostly. Um, March 15, server patch details because it's in UTC time, it's March 15, obviously. The maximum daily Alliance Battle Extreme score has been increased to 3,500,000 points per day. This will take effects on the Alliance Battle Extreme after the reset on March 15, Friday. And they're talking about the weekly reset here. So if anybody is, is capable right now to actually score over 2 million on Blast Villain, well, they can go up to 3.5 million. If you haven't restarted your app since the patch was applied, guys, make sure to restart your app in order to download the new patch. So why are they doing that guys? It's pretty simple. Uh, last week uh, the number one alliance had like a ton, like a ton of people that actually maxed out every single day in Alliance Battle Extreme and because of that Netmarble had to distribute the, the MVP crystal to every single one of them which is uh, not fair to other players in their opinion and honestly personally I don't even understand why there's a cap in Alliance Battle Extreme I think they should just remove the cap so we can actually score as much as you can so the best player in the game can actually have the best IS craziest score in the game guys that's all I see I just don't understand the point of a max score now here um, the hardcore players the players that like a board with a 2 million cap are going to be loving this but other people the more casual are going to start seeing a bigger gap between them being able to be in the top 16 alliance it will actually affect that that is for sure guys but I think this is a great change because that cap was a very very big issue that cap of 2 million and 3.5 million and so it's still cap uh, I do really believe that is going to be a, a pretty good uh, improvement guys and guys I did not cover yesterday sneak peek so we're gonna jump in there here Sneak peek number one we got yesterday, which we don't have the official picture. So that was that year, guys. But the official picture was actually um, Juggernaut with uh, Sabertooth and what's the name of the third character? <laughs> I don't remember. Wait, we're going to have the picture in the comments. Give me a sec here, guys. There we go. We get a picture. So uh, this other guy, uh, Warpath. I don't really know this guy, so that's why I don't really know his name. So those are the three characters that's going to come, guys. Uh, personally, you guys, well, we're going to have the the uh, uniforms to Tier 3 Wolverine. If all the rest of the leaks were actually right. So uniform for Nightcrawler, thank God. Uniform for Deadpool, oh my God, this guy's going to be a beast. And uh, uniform for Wolverine and Tier 3 for Wolverine. That's just going to make Wolverine a god, obviously. But let's talk about the one we got here. You guys, what characters do you think that is going to get, uh, that's going to be a paywall? In my opinion, because uh, Wolverine is getting his tier 3 advancement, I really, really, really think here, guys, that uh, Sabretooth is actually going to be the paywall character. 
um, Whip Warpath is going to be uh, Aerial Quest and Juggernaut is just going to be the free to play player. That's how I, I think. You know, one paywall, um, one paywall characters for one villain we're getting, which is Saber 2. The second villain is free to play, and the hero that's getting added because you can see is X Force uniform on. You see the X around his belt. Um, this guy is actually going to be the air request, so people actually have to spend some crystal to recruit him. That's what I think, and that's how I think we're actually going to be getting those characters. But I want to hear your opinions, guys. I want to, I want to hear what you guys think. How you guys think is going to be ending up here? And guys, uh, again, make sure you check the description below the video for the links to our giveaways. And guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this content to uh, to give us some support and uh, well help us bring more awesomeness to the channel, guys. So on that, guys, Star Agent Starco Gaming is out.